All right, everyone, thanks for watching. We are testing every single mask on Amazon because we're crazy. And today we are looking specifically at the We Care disposable mask for kids. And it's tie dye. That's pretty cool. I'm actually really excited about this. I have five kids myself. Kids, you know, they're more likely to wear it if they feel like they can become a part of it. Uh, it's one of the reasons why we sell masks, uh, kids masks in many different colors. Um, I really like this box and I love the brand name, We Care. So many of these brands are like disposable face mask or like some other BS uh, or something you cannot pronounce. It's like, look, clearly you're selling to an American market, have an American brand. I love it. I think they spent some time on this. It's got a little shield. I feel like I'm being protected. Let's see if we actually are though. Let's put this under the microscope. It's not a microscope. All uh, right, now we gotta make sure that this is uh, covering on the sides here. All right, now the kid's mask is a bit smaller, so and these are designed to test the much larger face masks. So uh, we gotta be very careful about the, the plate that it's on because if, it, if we don't get a good seal on that gasket, then the PFE machine isn't gonna test very well. Let's take a look at this. I love the packaging on it. It's got one of these uh, uh, perforated box tops, which is great. You can sit it in your car or whatever. They're individually packaged. Now these things are $19.98, which are pretty expensive uh, for masks on Amazon. Um, well, they, they, I mean, like when we're looking at Chinese masks, it's definitely at the, toward the top, but for the individual packaging, that is so nice. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test the ear loops. That's pretty good. I could feel like it's it's close to breaking, but I'm not gonna put it to its limits, but, and a kid too is gonna do this, but that's enough, that's a good mask. Oh, you know what's weird is the ear loops are so big. This is way too big for a kid's face. That's weird, and it's got a weird smell, right? Which kind of makes me nervous to give my kids, to be honest. I was actually thinking about having them try this out, but maybe I'm thinking not. I don't understand where these smells come from, because yes, ours don't smell like this. And I, my theory is that it comes from the boat. When it's sitting on the boat, it's next to a smokestack or something like that. But a lot of these Chinese masks have the smell. Well, okay, this thing um, is, is uh, extremely soft. So I love how soft it is. And the reason it's so soft, it's got a really thick outer layer. This thick outer layer allows them to print this. Anytime you're gonna see a print on the outside of these things, that means that they had to put a really thick outer covering. Now, the bad part about this and the reason why we don't make masks like this is because it reduces the breathability a lot. And for us, like when I'm going to choose fashion or choose uh, safety, I'm going to choose safety every time. So no claims on filtration, but it says filtration in it. <laughs> so that's something. What do you think? Go to 90. 90? Yeah. 94.886%, 94.8, that's right below, just a hair below the minimum standards in the United States. So the minimum standard in the US is 95% filtration. That's an ASTM level one mask. Uh, personally, I recommend and use and make ASTM level three masks, which is a 98% filtration. But I mean, man, like the quality of the build and design and like aside from the fit with the ear loops being too big, I mean, for $20 for tie-dye masks, ooh, like it's pretty good, it's pretty good. All right, thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, we're gonna be rating a lot of masks on Amazon, so if you've liked anything about this, even like one second, just give me a like and a subscribe, I'd appreciate it very much. And I'll see you in the next test.